From the makers of Denzel Washington Saves a Submarine and Denzel Washington Saves a Boat. Denzel, Denzel Washington, Washington saves, saves a train. train! Well, technically he didn't actually save the train. His co-star did. Yeah. Denzel, Denzel Washington, Washington almost saves, saves a train! Yeah. So it's yet another runaway train film. It's Chris Pine and Denzel Washington in Unstoppable. It's about as basic as a runaway train story could possibly get. A train filled with hazardous chemicals somehow sets off on its own because of employees' incompetence, and it's down to Denzel Washington, an experienced railroad employee, and his conductor, played by Chris Pine, to run the train down and stop it in its tracks. So it's a fairly generic storyline, don't you, Phil? Yes. But it's a storyline that's done well, don't we think? Um, yes, I, th I think there's a few major, major plot holes in it. Some really? Of which are, yes. Really? Yes. As? Well, maybe not plot holes, more just general problems with the American railway system. <laughs> Would you care to explain these uh, general well, problems with the American railway let, system let, let, to our many American fans? Let, let's face the basics here, OK? The major problem was that the brakes were not fully functional, right? Yeah. OK, so, first thing. Vacuum brakes. British really? vacuum brakes. You break the brake pipe, the train comes to a stop. OK? Problem solved. Secondly, AWS and TPWS. You run a train through a red signal, no one no, deactivates the alarms, train comes to a stop. Add those two things into the American railway network and the film is, is null and void. There was also various kind of technical things in the film which are a bit kind of annoying. Like the fact that whenever someone phones someone else, they use a screenshot from the film as the photo of the person who's phoning. Mind you, that is just kind of following on the general theme of just reusing shot after shot after shot. Yes, this is true. When the first time they try to stop the runaway train, uh, they use the same shot of the driver looking out of the window three times. Hmm. And the same helicopter fly past at least twice. Yes. You're going to spend forever picking this film to pieces. Yes. I, actually, yeah. I actually kind of enjoyed it. It's kind of a brainless setup, but because of that, it's a nice bit of escapism, I feel. Well, it's American. So, obviously, we don't understand what's going on. Really. No, those two don't understand what's going on. No, no, I, I, I'll be fair to the film. I, I did. I really do enjoy it. It is a good film. It, it's just, as you experienced while we were watching it, I do enjoy chipping in and pointing out the bleeding obvious. <laughs> if I had one main gripe with this film, it would be that the human character development is a little bit pointless. There's Chris Pine's ex, who's put out a restraining order on him, which mm. doesn't really serve up that much to the plot, and then... She goes and val validates it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then there's Denzel Washington with his daughters, and his wife has died from cancer... Yes. It's sad, but then we just want to see shit bloom up. <laughs> which, which, in fairness, that does happen yeah. quite a lot, yeah. to be fair. I mean, most of it's because they fail to stop the train. Well, let's face it, the one person who dies, we don't really care about. No. <clears throat> He's given a couple of seconds. He's made out to be this... Huge, grand person that deserves coverage. Oh, we've just discovered... I can't even remember He's, his name. <laughs> uh, what? I can't Ju even remember Judd his name. Judd Stewart, I think Judd it was. Stewart. Yeah. It was Stewart. that memorable he that I forgot. <laughs> so exper <laughs> He's an experienced Royal man of, I think it was 26 years. So he must have all the experience to stop this train. And he fails miserably. Well, I, I, I can remember when we had cancellations of various trains and the odd one or two kept running in the southeast. And I don't remember them saying... Here's Joe Bloggs. He's been a driver formerly of Network Southeast, currently of Southeastern, uh, for 35 years. No one gives a shit! <laughs> right, so stars for story then, out of three? Um, uh, I'd say a two, myself. I'm inclined to agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's... As, as much as I will slate it, and I will slate every film. I, I didn't finish the film thinking, this was terrible. Yeah, I, I finished the film thinking, 
Yeah, that was alright. It's somewhat endearing. Hmm. Yeah. If you after you've seen it a couple of times, say, ah, oh, yeah, it's it's okay. This is something I can watch and not really pay too much yeah. attention to it. Yeah, but the story itself actually works rather well mm. for what it is. Yeah, I think on that basis, I'd give it two as well. Mm. If it wasn't for the pointless human character development, then I would give it more. But it gets a solid two from me. Bloody hell, we're in agreement. Wow. Yeah, for once, <laughs> let's make the most of it. So technicals. Mm. It has I... a very unique style about yes. it. The, the the quick cut. Zoom in and out. I don't like slight. it. It's it's a. It what? Could be a it I, could, I, I don't. I don't I like can, the the starting sped up and slow down. Well, the starting of, sped up, slow down, is a bit crap. Yeah, I don't. But like it. it could be a bit. It could be a bit disorientating at times. Yes. Mm. It's a bit. Oh, what's going on? And it's, they're hot, all, always cutting to news stories and reporters who are supposedly meant to have evacuated said area. But are still there. So technical, we're looking at, what, maybe a one? I'd be a little bit more generous and give it one and a half, personally. Okay. But, yeah. yeah I, I'll agree with you on that one. One and a half. I can't make up my mind. I, I, although I personally don't agree with some of the techniques, I'm tempted to give it a two. Because, actually, the editing was pretty sharp. Mm. Mm, yeah. Credit yeah. where it's due, it does fit the action. Yeah, I'm going to give it but, a two. All right. General appeal. It lost a bit of appeal for me. Which bit? The diesel bit. <laughs> so, about 90% of the film then. <laughs> yeah. So, you're, so basically, basically, if this film had steam trains in it instead of steam, one, this whole problem probably wouldn't have occurred. And I would have cared much more about the potential of a crash. Yes. So, two then? Hmm. Yeah. Two. Overall, yeah, I think if you're just looking for a, a dumb runaway train film, then this gets a pretty solid two from me. Uh, if you're looking for something with a little bit more railway generalisation, then you're probably not going to find as much of it here as you are in others. But, yeah, I'd say it's a solid two all round. Recommend this film? Yay, nay? I, yeah, I... I, I... <laughs> I know I keep slating it, but I... I would Because <laughs> you keep slating everything! I... I'm a cynic. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> no, I, I I would recommend it. I'd be a bit selective over who I recommended it to, um, yeah. but but I, I I would recommend it to some people. Yeah, yeah I I'd agree. I I would go on basis of if it's on TV, I say oh yeah you should watch that. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily yeah. go out and buy the DVD <clears throat> specifically. I, but I didn't. No, neither did I. I saw it when it was on TV. Is my point exactly? Reco yes, I say recommend. I did buy the DVD, by the way. <laughs> that, yes, if it's on TV, we're I not entirely unbiased. It. Yeah, no, I agree with you. If it's on TV, I'd yeah. recommend it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't yeah. send someone go out and buy it. Well, I concur. I think if you, again, if you're looking for just a dumb runaway train film, then you're going to find it here. And for that reason alone, I would I would recommend it to anybody. Yep. Or alternatively, just watch any alternating episode of Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much what's going on. Whatever. <laughs>